You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Willy Wonka Candy Factory Kit. And it looks like it is the uh, original box that it's shipped in as well. You can see third class here, bulk rate. Uh, we covered up the person's address and name that was there, so that white label wasn't originally there. Let me just flip it around. There is some ingredients there, which of course are no longer in this box. And uh, something we're not going to actually use, but take a look at that. You can kind of see what it came with. And then the sides of the box are, you know, nicely decorated with a Wonka factory. It goes all the way around. And there's nothing else identifying on this uh, particular box. So let me uh, open it up. Let me ch change my camera here for you. Ch -ch 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 change my camera angle. And here is what is inside. Now this is not an actual kit that makes chocolate. It actually takes chocolate, you melt it, and then you put it in these molds. So let's take them out right now and I'll just lay it all out on the table and we'll take a look at them. All right, and then we have some neat Wonka bars. We have Willy Wonka himself, and there's more in the box. And look, there's even an Oompa Loompa. It's a two-sided mold, so I'll have to do a few steps here to get that to work. But let's take a look at each one. The first one here we will look at is the Wonka bar mold. And as you can see, it says Wonka bar here. Wonka mini bars, the W, and then the W is going across. That's the back side. I still need to wash everything here. And this one is Willy Wonka himself. And then what looks to be like a witch, not sure what that is completely yet. And then some type of deer, a reindeer. Maybe some holiday stuff there. And this one here is another holiday one. It looks like an Easter egg, a heart, Santa Claus, a turkey, a Christmas tree, and a pumpkin. And this one is uh, Cereal Characters. And it looks rather interesting. I was studying this one a little bit just to make sure I've got all the characters right. So we have Captain Crunch, we have the Quisp character, and this one here, not sure if a lot of people know this one. I didn't know it offhand. It took me a while to figure this one out. This is King Vitamin. Now that kind of helps us date the whole set because from what I read online, if it's all correct, you know, you gotta can't always trust what you read online, is that this particular character image was from 1970, and then in 1971 they changed it. So this, this set could be from around that time frame based on the King Vitamin character. Then let's see what else is in the box here. There is an actual roll of paper that we're going to use to roll up the candy bars in, the Wonka bars, the instructions, and all these neat uh, original looking Wonka bar wrappers and some other Wonka labels. So normally I don't uh, take it all out, I just set it all up first, but this one's pretty easy because as you can see, this is what we have. Pretty neat. Let me zoom out and kind of show you everything I get to work with here. And these are wrappers that I get to fold around the actual bars that you saw in the molds. And here's a big wrapper with some smaller stuff on the side. So this will be interesting to do. So what I need to do now is get some kind of melting device. So what I thought would work best is to take the melting pot that we used in the m &E video. That was a really good chocolate factory melting pot. And then uh, I'll melt chocolate with that and then we'll go mold by mold, go through the whole process, and then I'll come back when everything's set and we'll take a look at the instructions and get started. I'm excited about this one. I can't wait to make my first Oompa Loompa. All right, check back. Well, here we go. It's looking really colorful. I want to go over a few things before I officially get started. These are the candy wafers. This is what I'm going to be melting. Now, the kit itself originally called for candy bits and then melting them in boiling water with a plastic bag. So I'm not going to do that method because I have this cool set here from another maker. This was the m &E Chocolate Factory Cooker where I melted chocolate. It was pretty quick and worked good, so I'm going to use it on what I have here. So the wafers, they are just discs. That's all they are. And then the different colors, 
Like all of these are pretty much the same ingredients, except they just add coloring to it. So that's the ingredients on that. And the chocolate ones actually have chocolate in them. So there's the cocoa powder in there. So what I want to do first while I'm talking is get a bunch of the chocolate, because I think I'm going to do that first. Why do I have all the other colors? Well, you'll see, actually. I'll show you in a few. So let me get that going. I'm going to put quite a bit in there, maybe not that many, and let that start to melt down. It's already, it's been on for a little bit, so it's already starting to melt there. That should be enough to get started. Put those back in. The rest of my colors are set. So let's uh, remember all the molds. Well, let's get going here on reading these instructions. And don't forget now, none of these tools come with the original kit. So this uh, is the Willy Wonka's Candy Factory Kit instruction booklet. There's Willy Wonka there mixing a batch. And there he is inside the factory with his cane. Pretty cool. And here's some tips on making candy and how to use your Candy Factory Kit. Read the directions completely before starting. We have provided you with a coupon that entitles you to 10 cents off on a bag of chocolate bits from your grocers. Those are the chocolate bits I was talking about because they show a picture. Here's the Oompa Loompa mold. Here's the seasonal mold that was off to the side. They showed you that. They're boiling it here. And that's the actual box. See? Pretty neat little drawing. So how to melt the chocolate. We're going to do a little bit different. Might take us a little longer this way, but I'll just edit out some of the mixing of the chocolate parts. And then you just... Uh, funnel it into the molds and then they pop out. Now nothing about spraying the molds or any kind of prep to them. I did spend about a half hour cleaning, detailing, scrubbing and then drying all the molds. So here you go when the chocolate is hardened you can remove the candy by turning the mold upside down over the table and flexing it gently and it says put in the fridge for 45 minutes so they really want it to cure. And then here's how you do the Oompa Loompa. I'm going to do that last and now I know after looking at that that this has never been used because no one cut that section out where the dashed lines are to make it. It looks like I'm going to rubber band it together. And that's why I have colors. I'm going to make him orange, right? Special instructions. Okay. So we'll get to that later. And then decorating. It says here, here I'll show you. Three packs of colorful decorations. That was the ingredients I showed you on the bottom of the box. You can put the decorations in the bottom of the mold before you squeeze in the chocolate, or you can press the decorations into the chocolate after it's removed from the mold. So two ways to do it. I have some sprinkles, so I'll probably do that in a Christmas tree and maybe a heart or something. And then wrapping everything. Gives the instructions on how to wrap your candy bars. And let's see, the cleanup. And then using your imagination. That is neat, because that's what we want to do here. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of the stuff they stay, say here, because it looks like I'm going to be pretty involved with all the different colors. But you can add different things, see? You can add a gumdrop. You can add crushed cereal. I wonder why they say cereal. Hmm, Cap'n Crunch or something like that? And then coconut, nuts. Uh, you can make a sucker. Just stick end of straw into the chocolate and the, the round mold before you put it into the refrigerator. So, pretty neat. Happy candy making, and be sure to see the new movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And there's the back. He's left the factory. I think Willy Wonka's on break. So that is the instruction booklet. Now, let's uh, see where my chocolate is. Because what I'll do is split up the molds and then start doing different colors. I think I need to do Captain Crunch in blue, Quisp Guy in green, and then King Vitamin. Not sure, maybe I'll do him in white. So I'll mix some things up, but if I have the green, then I might do the Christmas tree on the other one. So we'll see how that goes. But here was the chocolate set from the m &E Maker. And then let me, uh, and this worked really good. So what I'll do now is I will check back. It's only been about as long as I've been talking, remember? And the ones on the bottom are all melted. So I will check back probably in a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is add more chocolate and try to fill this whole thing up so that I can make as many of the bars as possible at one time. So we'll check back. All right, I am back with the first mold. I probably put about 20 discs in there and it's melted really good. So I think I was going to make these Wonka bars first. Now, I'm not sure I have enough to fill this whole one. So I'm going to do the smaller ones first, then melt more chocolate, and then do the bigger one. Now, of course, I could do this stovetop and... Uh, 
melt six pounds at one time but I'm gonna go step by step and go through each mold and then uh, we'll get to the end at some point let me you take this off of here there's quite a few this is pretty heavy now I probably have 20 discs like I said at least so I'm gonna pour it in my first mold here and what you see this little brown thing here is a leveler because this one didn't sit straight so I wanted to make sure it stayed level so I'm gonna say that's enough for that one and I'll have to tap it for sure now what I did want to do here hold on I did decide to bring in a couple peanuts I wanna make one of mine peanuts on the opposite side so I think I'll do well, here's what I'll do. I'll do the W, but I'll put chocolate in first so we can at least not cover up the W with the peanuts. So I'll get some in there. I'll let that settle. Actually, there's quite a bit in here. I probably could have done the big bar. Let's see how this all works out after I tamp it down. Let me get this cleaned up. Set that there. Now I'll take it off my little wood support. As you can see, it doesn't sit level, so I wanted to make sure that it was level so they'll all need some in there but this would be a good time now that it's spreading to add a couple things here so I'll add some nuts I had that set just right before to this one here and I'll top that off so there'll be peanuts in the side of that one and uh, Let's do that. Let's finish this up. Okay, I think that's enough in there. I'll add some more to this one. So what I'll do after this is I'll melt more chocolate. Looks like it's going to be plenty to fill the big side if I do what I just did. Okay, I think that's going to do it. So I will, what I'll do now, actually, is while that's doing that, I'll add some more melting chocolate. I know i got to tap that down. That looks good. I think we're pretty good there. It did say almost to the top or at the top. This is perfect, perfect. Maybe a little bit there, a tiny bit, but I'm not going to risk it at this point. All right, so that first set is done. So I'm going to melt some more. You'll see it over here. I'm going to keep going on this, and then when I get this full again, I'm going to fill this side of the, of the mold. Well, I'm all set. That next batch is ready. I did tap it a little bit more to get some air bubbles out of here, and uh, I'm ready to pour this side here and then get this into the refrigerator. So let me do this next longer one. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to do this here. It's kind of a long bar. Ooh, almost spilled. It looks like that's going to fill it. Let me get that first base in there so I can get an idea. In between each set here, I'm kind of cleaning and organizing and straightening up my stuff here. Okay, need some more in there. Looks like I'm going to have plenty and maybe enough to do squeeze in another one small mold from the other set don't know maybe not maybe I'll clean up and start a color let's see let me see how that goes Ooh, nice that looks like it filled it really good maybe just a little bit in that corner Okay, looks like I have enough. Maybe I can just add it while it's still soft on this one here, where I was a little shy. Okay, looks like they've moved around a little from my tamping, but I think we're good. I think I might just uh, 
tap this just a little bit more. It's hard to do because this mold is not flat. Okay, I think I need to move this now to the refrigerator and I'm gonna clean up here and uh, start another color. Maybe I'll do the blue next. All right, I'm on the next set of molds here. I'm gonna do Captain Crunch and uh, King Vitamin in blue. I'm gonna leave Quisp in green, the tree in green, some other things in orange, and I might do the Easter egg in blue. So I haven't even started melting anything. I am putting them in right now in front of you so you can kinda see the process. So I like to set them down there so they're touching the bottom. And I'm thinking, you know, probably at least 10, maybe more. So we'll just put them in there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I'll go higher. This way I got more blue. Okay, so that's what I'm going to start with, and I'll start mixing that in just a second. So what I'll do is, I think for the Easter egg, I'm going to put some of these uh, non-perils. Perils? Not sure what it is. Non-perils. Decor. Candy things. How's that? That's better. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. So let me just... Um, Almost lost my train of thought there for a second. I got hung up on a non perils. See, the ones on the bottom are almost fully melted. And then I just been kind of, you know, going along with it, moving them around. And it probably takes about to do this many, a minute, minute and a half. So on the chocolate ones, you didn't see the entire time, because I had a ton in there. So I'm just going to let this go here. This way you can at least see one full process of the melting. And then after it melted, I just kept adding more till I was done, you know. till I had what I wanted. So I won't add any more just yet. Always make sure they're touching the bottom. Remember, this has a light bulb in it that's heating this up. Handle is plastic. It doesn't get hot at all. It's a neat little set. Now, if you want to see this video, the m and &E machine, just go to our channel and search m and &E and you'll find it. It's getting there. Is that enough to fill both of them? I don't think so. It's probably enough to do Cat and Crunch and the egg. So I'm going to add some more discs. See? They're almost all gone. Just little tiny nuggets in there. That's a pretty blue. This was dark blue. See, it's getting smooth. So I can maybe see or add more. Let me add some more just so I've got some extra. Almost all gone now. And that's pretty much the whole process. So just keep just keep changing colors. The only color I didn't find was orange. I know it's out there. Um, they didn't have it near us, so I have the red and the yellow. So I'll be mixing those to make my Oompa Loompa. Okay, so that's almost there. So far, I think the molds are pretty detailed on this kit. Really neat. Can't wait to actually wrap the candy bars and show you that process. I've, of course, never done it before. I've never wrapped a Willy Wonka bar, so it's going to all be a learning process for me. Look at that, see? Just a few tiny little chunks in there. Can they be little chunks? Little morsels, how's that? It's a nice creamy blue. So I won't add any more in there so I can at least fill my Cat and Crunch and maybe the egg. So let me let that sit just a second. Let me pour in my 
non perils. And let me get set up here to do my Captain Crunch. Here we go. Let's see. Here we are. It's a very detailed mold, so I'm going to try to move my chocolate around. All the different pores. You really don't know if you have enough till you tap it, so sometimes it looks like it's not there, but then it is, because you tap it and it moves around. So let me tap this. It's pretty close. Just saw a couple air pockets. It's going to need a little more by the one foot and then a little more just in the center hopefully that'll space out because it's low there and it's low there that helped okay I think that's pretty good I'm okay with not perfectly I like the little wave in there And let me do the egg. I'm pretty sure I have enough to fill my egg. Oh yeah, don't go too fast. I can't resist just putting a few more sprinkles in the middle. Putting more chocolate. Looks tasty. Okay, so I'm good to go on those right now. So I'm going to do more blue and then I'll check back in after it's melted and set so you don't have to see that whole process again. And I will get ready to do my uh, King Vitamin, I think, in the blue. And if I have a little bit more, maybe I'll do one of the other shapes and the other ones so that we're not switching too many colors here, but enough so that you can kind of see some variation in all the chocolate. So we'll check back. All right, I'm all set to do my uh, King Vitamin. So that one's ready to go. I was going to do that one originally in white, but then I thought, eh, let me just do them in blue because I'm here and I have the blue. Didn't take long for it to melt again. Same process you just saw. And then I do a little bit of cleanup on my pan, just so that everything stays uh, clean. Because there's a lot going on here with all the colors. This one also doesn't sit. I noticed not perfectly flat either. I mean, it's better. Propped it up just a little. And then uh, I think I can make one more shape with what I have here. That's good. Just going slow. I think it's when you start rushing that you start to end up in trouble and the molds aren't going to over they're going to overfill or just not fill right. Okay, that one's good. So while I'm here, push this over. See, I tilted it up just a little. So I'll leave that one now. I need that on this one here. I'm going to do this odd shape here. Still don't know, it looks like some kind of animal. So I have blue, I'll do that in blue. And then color, what color do I want to switch to? You know, I could do the heart in red. If I do green, I got to do my quisp and the tree. So maybe I'll do that. And then I'll do red. Let's see if I can get the turkey out of this one, too. Well, the turkey should be orange. Thinking. The pumpkin, the turkey, and, of course, the Oompa Loompa are all orange. I could do 
Santa Claus, the heart, in the reindeer in red, and I'll do the witch and the Christmas tree in uh, green, I think. Let me get a little bit more in here. So we're going to call this one a wrap. So I'm going to switch colors now. I'll do the orange last. So what I'll probably do is red or green. We'll see. We'll see when we come back. Yeah, a little bit more in that one. Okay. I'll probably do the green. Yeah, I'll do the green so that I can finish up this one and get this one in the refrigerator. So again, just keep tapping. Air bubble just came up. And that is good to go. So I'm going to clean up, come back, and do the green. Well, I'm back. I have the green, uh, some in my hand, ready to go. So I'm going to stick those in there. And uh, I'm going to mix this one in front of you. Some I will, some I won't. Don't think I'll edit it out later, but we'll see. Because then I could talk and hang out with you. So I'm thinking they're coming out real nice now. They're going to be pretty neat chocolates. And... Um, I was uh, debating now colors and getting to the Oompa Loompa and the video maybe being extremely long. Here, let me do this. Let me see if I can get you a, a real tight shot of the mixing so you can see the chocolate up close like I see it. How's that? A little better? Right, so here we go. As you can see, it doesn't take long. So the off-camera time is not not too bad. A few minutes, I have the color mixed, and then I add a little bit, and then I'm I'm all set. I guess I'm getting a little nervous about the candy bar wrapping. I had a video where I did the uh, double bubble wrapper, and uh, I wrapped it wrong. And you know what? We left the video anyway. Because that's just the human side. But there's probably on that video five comments a day that I wrapped it wrong. Which is good to us, you know, because that helps our channel, you know. When you leave comments, it shows that people, it shows YouTube that people are, you know, you know, on your video and interested in it. Even though it's negativity, it's still a comment. And what about the first comment stuff? I know a lot of people get upset when someone goes first comment or second comment or third comment and someone will say 997th comment. You know, early on we were kind of like, all right, do we leave them? Do we delete them? Just leave them. In a way, it helps our channel because it shows there's activity on the video. So if you get mad about that, it helps us. Don't get too mad at those people. There we go. I've got to fill the crisp and the Christmas tree and the witch all with green. And then I'm almost done, really. Then it's just a little bit of red for Santa and the heart. And then all orange from that point on. I do have that one giant Wonka bar with Willy Wonka in it. I haven't even thought about that one. Well, if I'm going to be cranking out orange, I might just do that in orange. Now that one I have to be more careful on because I need to um, create my orange so it'll be a certain amount of discs each time so that my color is consistent. So I'm thinking two yellow and three red or four red to get a nice dark orange. Okay. I think that's enough for Quisp. Let me just add a few more while I'm here. I don't have to do it later. 
and melt. And I think I'll uh, be ready after this. Now speaking of cereals now, because it's interesting they have the cereal characters in this set. Well, not interesting. I mean, they must have had some hand in making it or designing it. Captain Crisp, Quisp, or King Vitamin. Who's had King Vitamin? Who's had Quisp? And who's had Captain Crunch? Leave that in the comments. That's something I... It took me a while to find King Vitamin. Mainly because the image in the mold is an image that uh, was only around for a very short time, from what I read. I kind of touched on that earlier in the video. Okay, look at that. And then they went to like a real human character. So I might have to investigate that King Vitamin cereal. Leave a comment if it was good. I just, uh, I saw pictures of it, so I can't really tell from the pictures. Okay, look at that. Some tiny, tiny lumps in there. By the time I move everything into place, back to where we were. So the witch, the quisp, and the tree. Let's see if we can get them all in view. So I could do it all at one time. And I'm going to put some sprinkles in my tree. Okay. And here we go. We'll do quisp first because it takes the most. And I could also get that mold now into the refrigerator. It's not very thick, so let me... The mold I'm talking about. Okay. Let me shake that. Well, let me get a little bit by the feet. Seems like it's going to be the, the tough spot, you know? That seems like my going to be my breaking point also if it decides to break on me. These are already setting, so... A little bit more. I notice my creature on the other one, whatever that animal thing is, is tilted now. i got to set that straight. In the left corner there. Ooh, that's going to be too much, I think. Push some out. Right, fill up the crevices there. There you go. All right, let me tap that down. This one here needs to be angled back up. A little over, but I'm going to run with it. Okay. And then let's bring in my tree. This this one sits really nice. And let me tap that one. Would you go through these steps, everybody out there? Would you take the time to do this? Or do you prefer just watching it being done? Or would something you are interested in? Because anybody could do it. I mean, finding these sets, that's hard. Okay. And then let me get my witch. I decided to do the witch in green. Should be just enough. Okay, I think I, I think I made it. Let's see if I'm got just enough there. This one needs to tilt a little bit more back too. Oh, some bu bubbles came out of the blue one. Oop, bubbles coming out of the green one. Get a little bit more, or just push. Let me push this. Let 
Okay. I'll tap this one a little bit better. Okay, so I have to do the red. Then after the red, orange. And then this one here. I have to think about that one. Maybe I can try to do orange in here and then come back and do chocolate on the top. Ooh, I think I might be daring there. I'm sure a chocolatier would have no problem doing that. A real chocolatier. Okay, happy with that. I'm going to now clean up, move uh, this back one here into the refrigerator, and we'll go on to the next color, right? We're going to do the red, finish up these two here in red, and then it's going to be orange, orange, ooh, we'll do this in red. So orange, orange, part orange, brown, and then we're set. And then we'll move on to the final one, the Oompa Loompa, and then all the, you know, the cool stuff, the eating and the wrapping. So looking forward to that. So check back shortly. Well, I started to mix the red uh, off camera just so that I had it ready because the video is going to be super duper long. And I just recently added four discs and they melted fast. So I'm ready to go. And I decided to do red on the inside and then orange on the outside of this because I thought you know Willy Wonka colors let's give that a shot I've never really actually done that kind of chocolate stuff before but first I need to get to the heart so I will do that and I'm almost done uh, I gotta mix a lot of orange so that's my last step and then we're gonna have some fun right so let me get those two tamped down Now these have set pretty good already. It's been a little bit longer. I think I made too much red. Okay. Tamp that down. Good. Yes. So now here's the one where I decided to just do this center section in red. So let's give this a shot. I think I'll go this way there. So I'm lengthwise. And uh, it's going to take a little time. I want to go slow on this. So what I might do is just stop there. See where I'm at, see where I need to move it to. Okay. The spread's really nice. I'm gonna go slow now. Here's Willy Wonka's hat area. Okay, move it to his feet. Okay if it goes over just a little here. All his different sections. His hat. Okay, let me tap that down. Oh, I gotta do the reindeer. I was gonna do that in red or green. Good, I have plenty. So that's set. And let me... It needs to be just a little higher here. Okay, let me just do the reindeer. Then what I will do is um, clean up one more time and mix a lot of orange. So I'll come back with the orange all mixed and ready. That'll give this time to set. So I got to go over this one. This when the red is totally set. Remember, I still got to make an Oompa Loompa and wrap it all. A little bit more. This one's pretty detailed too with the horns. I think 
That's perfect. All right. Oop, that little drop got there. Well, close. Okay. So I might tap it a little bit more and uh, get to the orange. So I'm going to clean up and uh, get ready to do the Oompa Loompa and fill these last two. It's exciting. I'm actually really excited. When I get to a certain point, I feel that excitement building like, ooh, we're going to get to the end to show all the cool stuff and the wrapping, and I get to eat it. So we'll check back. All right, I'm all set. I did have to clear out some of that, clear out that red because I want to know exactly my process to make the orange. So I'm going to start with three of the red and I will do for now two of the yellow and see how orange that is. And once I get the orange I want, then I'm going to just mix a whole bunch. So I'll do that off camera, but I just wanted to do this process in front of you to see how the chocolate changes so we can see that together right not sure if I'll need more yellow so right now it's a three to two ratio I will probably just by looking at it now well I'll, I'll wait to pass my judgment on the color but I think I've got too much red right now so I want to lighten it up just a little but this big yellow one's not melted yet Okay, yep, I'm going to add a little more yellow. So now this will make it a 3 to 3 ratio, 50-50. I'm thinking I might have to go to a 4 yellow to 3 red ratio. Starting to lighten up just a little. Of course, it's not as orange as this, but it's working. So I'm going to go one more yellow. And I think that's going to be my ratio. So from this point on, I'm going to keep mixing until I get as much orange as possible because I have to fill this and then these two little ones. And remember that other bar too. So I've got a lot of, a lot of orange to make. So. We'll check back shortly after I... Yeah, that's a better color. Okay, so we'll check back shortly. Not as orange as I'd like, but I think we're getting there. I'll check back. How many times have I said that? Three times. All right, I'll check back shortly. I am back. I'm uh, getting to the next step now. I'm going to fill this with orange, 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 and then work on the Oompa Loompa. I guess I'm most excited about that. So let me get these filled. I can get everything cleared out. And then focus on the main piece, the Oompa Loompa, which I think is the main piece anyway, because that is the coolest. So before I do the small ones, I just want to make sure that I have enough for this section. And as you can see, the color difference between the red now. And at the end, I just topped it off with three yellows to kind of lighten it up just a little bit more. So my ratio was slightly varied. Let me tamp this down. You can kind of still see some yellow streak in there. Okay, got to move quick here because I'm on an angle. That's a big chocolate bar. little bit more so I'm gonna make another full pot for my Oompa Loompa but at least we got to this point right all the different colors and okay that's good so I might tap it a little bit more off camera but right now we're just kind of getting this process going here and then a little too angled here. Oh, I have it on this side. It needs to be on this side. Okay. Two little shapes left. My pumpkin and my turkey.
I'm going to have to make a whole other batch. No problem. Plenty of chocolate. A little bit going this way. There we go. Oh, that's colorful. I feel like Willy Wonka now with all the different colors here. So that one's done. That one's done. Um, I do need to cut this. So let me put a bunch of chocolate. So it was the 3 to 4 ratio. Let me double that up. So that's 4. You'll just see I'm just kind of filling it up. This is how I did it. A 3. And then 4. I'm going to need quite a bit. 3. And then 4. And then we'll see how that all melts down. That'll take a little bit, so we'll just leave that off to the side. And now, remember, this needs to be cut. So, there are marks here. And this is a pretty old mold. So I will be very careful here. I might have to use a different kind of tool. So we'll see. I might just get a, one of my little knives. Because it isn't brittle. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a couple more tools here because these scissors just aren't working that great. Of course, they're little kid scissors I'm using. Let me try some pointy scissors. I'll check back in just a second. Okay, I'm all set. Realize that scissors just will not work. It's a little too brittle. So I'm bringing in an X-Acto knife. So I'm just kind of going around the edge here and slowly making the cut. So it'll eventually get through here. So while that's... Uh, actually, see the background here? I have this. Remember I mixed all those in there? It gets really soft fast. So that's ready. That just needs a good mixing. And I might throw... Here, let me throw some more in there. The more the better on this. So three red. And the yellow. And uh, I'm good to go. So I'm going to check back after I get this cut. And the mold all set. And then we're going to make our Oompa Loompa. Well, here we are, and my Oompa Loompa I know looks crazy, but I didn't like the rubber bands, so I found these, uh, well I had these clips, and they hold it really tight, so it worked out great, and it holds it up real nice in my glass, because I have to now pour the chocolate in there, see, kind of stable for me, won't completely fall over, and uh, I can do it, and I just clip them on, and if you look at the inside of the mold, it looks nice and sealed, which is what we want, so what I'll probably do is uh, put some in and then tamp it down and work, work my process that way. And here we go. Ready for the Oompa Loompa. It's kind of exciting for me. Could this be the first ever Oompa Loompa made out of chocolate? Ooh, that's it. Keep going. Looks like I'm going to have plenty of chocolate, so I'm just going to keep pouring. And then I'll tap it. I see it now, it's about halfway. Let's just take a look inside. So that's where we're at. Let me take it out of my cup and give it a couple taps down. Okay. So the last step then is me to get the chocolates, make the bars, and do that. So we're almost there, everybody. This will probably be one of our longest videos ever. I know we had a few at Christmas time that were pretty long. Okay, here we go. Just take it out of here, tap it down. It's nice and warm. I got a warm Oompa Loompa. Looks good. A little bit more. So a nice big air bubble come up. See that? It's right there. Big air bubble. When I'm tapping, I gotta remember to turn that down. Okay, let me get a little bit more in there. And then I think we're good to go. I can clean up. We're done with the chocolate for now. There 
That should give us some settling room in there. So remember, I need to bring those wrappers in next, get my chocolate, clear out everything, and I'm going to wrap some bars. That'll be next while this Oompa Loompa dries. Ooh, air bubble just popped there. Another air bubble, so they're coming up. Ooh, a big air bubble. This probably is the most crucial part on something like this, is to take it slow, get those air bubbles out of there. This worked out good, my little holder here. So I will put this in the refrigerator. And get ready to make the bars. All right, good. So we'll come back in just a second. Well, here we go. I'm all set to wrap the candy bars. I'll go over a few things with you because, uh, well, I'm learning as I go here. But I need to get them out of the molds. So uh, let me start with these. It said just turn them over on the table. I want to be careful here because these molds are really loose. And they've already started to come out. So I don't want anything to break. And it didn't. Ooh, look at that. So that is the first set. Now, I don't need this one just yet. So I'm going to... Stick that back in there for later presentation. And then these look pretty good. So let me stick them on one of my pieces of paper so they're not on my tabletop because I need to wrap them. That is a nice, thick candy bar. And then my last one, of course, I'm most nervous about that one. That was the two-layer one, so we'll see if it even worked. Let me cut some more of this paper. What I think I'll do is I'll put that over it. Like I said, these came out of the molds real easy. I didn't really do anything, so I'm still going to be careful. You kind of hear it crackling. Let me just put this here like this, go like this, and then see if I can twist them out. Just going slow. No rush. One is out. These are really nicely shaped. I'm just going to keep going here. Let me move this out of the way. See how nice it's coming out? I'm going to set that one on my paper and keep going. There we go. Look at that. Okay, this is someone who's never ever done this before. So I think if anybody else wants to try it, I think it's something they can do also. And then the last two. I guess I'm controlling my excitement because that last one came out. I bet you if they didn't go to the top as much. Now that chocolate has a little white coating. I think there's a term for that. Now maybe they stayed in the fridge just a little too long. There we go. Popped out. Okay. So those are all out of the mold. I still don't know what that is. Oh, it's a bunny. Didn't realize it. Let me get these all out of the way. And let me wrap a bar here. Now, let me just show you the sheet. Now, there was these. there's a bunch of these in here. And each sheet has these specific candy bars in them, at least that's what I could tell. It's looking like this one here is the longest and widest one, and that's going to be to wrap that candy bar. This one here will wrap this middle candy bar. This one here will wrap the smallest of the candy bars. It is a little hotter in here, so I need to be very careful here. So that'll wrap that, and then this one here will wrap that. So now what it said was, and for the integrity of the set, I'm trying to save these because it is a pretty old set and have all those which are already pre-ripped. And it said, just put your candy bar on a piece of paper like you're wrapping a present. Make sure it overlaps. Okay, so that's going to definitely overlap. So I need to cut this down. Got some new scissors, by the way. And 
I have some tape. Okay, wrap it like a present. Okay. So let me pre-cut some pieces here so I have them ready to go. All right. And I think we're going to do this. Let me just see that I don't have too much on the ends. So if I bring this over here, that'll be nice. Okay, so we'll just make a nice even edge. There we go. Get that nice and square. I will tape this down. Okay, and then I'm going to match up this, and just like I'm doing a present, get two more pieces of tape. And fold this. Got to pick it up a little. this side. I'm just going to trim off just a little here. Okay. I think this bar is this one. Now I could put the made by, but let me just see how this fits and how it wraps around. Okay, so put the made by over the top. I want to see if I have my Wonka bar centered. I think that's exactly where I want to be. Get a little tighter. I don't like this big chunk of tape. Now there were supposed to be what it said were gum strips and those would be little strips that I could put behind. So if I had double face tape or something like that maybe I can accomplish that final perfection, but I'm going to go with little pieces of tape. That didn't cut very well. My hands have chocolatey uh, fingerprints on them. Okay, Wonka bar number one. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep going everybody. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to get all my bars wrapped just like that so we can do a, you know, final presentation. Let me get some more paper in here. Let's see on this long one. First off, take a look how that came out. The W's. Really neat. I'm not going to need as much on this. And then the ends will probably be a little short I think so I'm gonna go this way and then cut this down here so that I just have a little bit of overlap not the best cut but I'm trying to work around the camera so let's just do that that and then that okay so we can fold this to make it look nicer go all right so let's just push this bar down it's gonna be a much different fold here on the end because it's so tall it's nicer to handle the bar though when it is in the paper Oops. Too 
big of a piece, so I gotta redo that. That ever happen when you rip a piece of tape, it doesn't rip right? I'm sure it does, it happens to a lot of people. Okay, there we go. So there is the next bar. Now that one, which one did I say it was? It's the lengthwise one. So it's this one. And these are perforated here. Gotta start here. Okay. And I could fill out the made by, but I think you know who made it. Okay, let's see how this one wraps. Well, actually, that's this one. This is the one for this bar. But now that piece is ready. Now that I look at it, see this Wonka strip fits better that way. You know, you see things after the fact. Sometimes I make videos and I get to editing it and looking at it, and I'm like, ooh, I didn't notice that. But I just leave it. This is the Whopper. Okay. A little bit of tape on that one. I'm gonna go big piece. It's just harder to for me to hold this and cut it. So that's the second bar. We're getting there. And then we have a mini bar. But let me wrap the last big one. I have a piece that might just work. Let's first take a look at this. Is the two color Wonka one that I did in the orange and the red. Little air bubble pocket there. So not going to wrap as nice because it is so fluffy. No, it's not flat. It looks like that's going to be good. Here, I'll just put this over this. So I'll make it look neat. I'm trying to be neat. There we go. Slippery. Okay, so let me get some tape. And then we'll wrap the end, like a present, it said. All right, don't get sloppy there. Keep going. I think because it's uh, the shape of this one, it makes it harder. There we go. There we go. Nice little package. Too long of a piece again. There we go. So there's that one. And I'm all set here, remember? Got that one ready. Accidentally, but now it's gonna make it quicker. Here's my Wonka, Willy Wonka bar. The other one was the Whopper. Just trying to center it. And that didn't work. There we go. Doesn't fit as good on this one as the other bars. So I have to leave it a little looser. And now I can twist it around. Okay, there is the next Wonka bar. I got one more bar, so I need just the paper that it's on, really. This is the smallest of the Wonka bars. That worked out good. 
I need to cut this a little. Everybody still with me there? I'm kind of trudging through. There we go. There we are. We're getting there. This next is just our final presentation. Okay, got some green on there, but it was this last piece. Looks like someone didn't cut the perf right, but we'll leave it like that. This is the Wonka mini bar. Okay. Now you know what time it is. There's all my bars. It is cleanup time. And then I'm going to bring in the rest of the uh, different molds that I made and show you everything and uh, just wrap it all up. Okay. Well, I am ready now to take out my Oompa Loompa. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So I'm going to unclip everything and see what happens. And look at the smile on that Oompa Loompa face. Is this a specific one? I had a hard time looking at this one and saying, ooh, that's the Oompa Loompa. So let's just see. Take our time here. Ooh, I didn't need to take my time. Back came out good. No air pockets. Let's see. Just going to slowly just keep touching and a little warmth through my hands will probably help it out. Heard a little crack in that corner from the plastic. There. Ooh, might have to shave his bottom. Let me do that. Let me grab one of my. Well, let me grab my cutting tool. See if I can. Clean that up now so I can get in the stand a little better. Okay. Let's check him out. Now, I think he's missing some details, huh? Like some green hair. How about we give him some green hair? I'm going to put some green in here. My little pot warmer. I've got my pot warmer off to the side and you know maybe I can clean up the edge a little bit. Let me grab my other knife. Now I don't recommend doing this young children but I am going to and I know how to carve and it just helps give that nice clean look to the edge especially around his hair because he is an Oompa Loompa right and he needs green hair so I'm going to make sure he gets just that. So I'm melting the chocolate, and I have a paintbrush. It's one of those last-minute things. So I found a paintbrush and thought, yeah, I have the green. How's that? And then, uh, let's see, I need to mix this up a little bit. There we go, there's enough to work with already. I might have to get some white in there too, huh? Remember, I've never done this before, but... I'm just experimenting. I'm going to have to let this dry a little bit. I think we're getting there. There we go. More and more green. Just going to dump a bunch on there. All right. Look at that. 
I should get some white on him, right? Because they were very orange, green, and white. Ooh, he got a little bit on his cheek. Come on. Got an Oompa Loompa cheek there. All right, I think we're, I think we're good. Good for now. Yes. Let me clean this up and get a little white in here. All right, so I moved this in here just to show you I'm taking the melted chocolate and I'm using that. I had to clean up his face a little bit because I um, got that green on there. So now it's just a couple eyebrows in white. Nice bushy eyebrows. There's the oompa eyebrows and the oompa eyes. Let's see if I can get in here with a little white. They have very white eyes. And then this was all white, so I'll just do some quick white here. It's starting to melt in my hands. Not working fast enough. So his outfit was white. His neck collar was white. You know, not exactly, but close enough to eat. Gotta move quicker. I'm moving quicker now. It's melting. Okay, now we can clean that up a little bit. Oompa, oompa, oompa dee doo. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it just at that. Any more? And I think I've overworked him. So that is the oompa. Now let me bring in the rest here. I have it all off to the side. These are all the bars. Okay. And then the other shapes I have not taken out of the molds yet. So... I'm going to do those on the table here. Hopefully they come out nice and easy and there's no issues, right? You always worry about that, I guess, when you're doing chocolate. So just the Santa. Come on, Santa. And the tree. All right, let me get these on the plate, though, so I can show them all to you. That was the egg with the little pieces in it. There was my Santa, my red heart, my orange pumpkin. Just going to keep working this one. There. That is a Christmas tree. Now the bigger ones. These were the cereal characters. Come on, Captain. Last one is the Captain Crunch. Let me get these out of the way. Boy, that Oompa staring at me in the background there. He's like, what did you do to me? There we go. Those have all popped out now. So there's three. All right, let me see if I can get these all on my plate. I'll put the three up there, little ones there. So we can get an overall look at everything that I just made. This would be the ultimate Willy Wonka set. Now check that out. So let's see, let's see. So this one had the little bits in it. You can kind of see it. Let me just zoom in around the plate here. That Oompa, he's eyeballing me. And then these were the bars, the four sizes that I hand wrapped. And then the three cereal guys. That is Quisp in the middle, Captain Crunch on the right, and then King Vitamin on the left. And I'm just going to pretend like I'm opening a candy bar. Like, it's time. I'm going to open this one. Just like I would open a real candy bar. Check that out. This is my wrap job. What? What is that? It's a golden ticket? Wow, a Wonka's golden ticket. Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. 
Look, I found the golden ticket. And that was in this bar. Check that out. I think overall, I'm extremely excited and happy. So what, I'll eat something. I gotta eat something, right? Did we, we didn't look at this bar in great detail. Let me open this bar. Wow, I sealed it and taped that pretty good. Can you believe it, I won a golden ticket? So now I'm gonna break my Wonka bar and take a piece and enjoy it. Cause after all that work, it's nice to enjoy your efforts. Well, this was a long video and it's a good time to ask you, what's your favorite thing? Me psych, the psychotic Oompa Loompa. Look at that. I could probably go over them in white now because this is already dried and touch that up. So there you go. Thanks for watching. It's a pretty cool Wonka set. Hope you enjoyed it. And again, check that description for more videos from Lucky Penny Shop because we always have a playlist down there or search our channel. And remember, I won the golden ticket. Later. Well, I thought the video was done and then I just realized why not show everything a little bit more close up in detail. So here they all are. Ooh, let me move the witch in. Remember, that was the rabbit. And then at the top of the screen, I have the three serial characters. Not sure if we, if I showed them good enough, but the detail's really nice on those. And then, of course, all the other ones that are on the plate. Now, I am missing the one bar that I ate, and this is the one bar I unwrapped with the golden ticket. And I do have that bigger bar at the bottom and the Oompa Loompa that's been staring at me. So now I'm just going to leave it like this. If you want to uh, go full screen, it's on the the player down there on the right. You just click that little uh, little button there on the right. It looks like a square and it enlarges it. Or HD, that's also on the tab there. So you can go full HD and check them all out. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny... Pick it up!